Denise Ajma. Denise has been on the first row of honor clock both since grade 8. This motivated grad plans to attend UBC and study in the Faculty of Sciences to become an optometrist or a high school teacher. Denise has been awarded the Dogwood District Authority Second Language Scholarship and the SFU Academic Excellent Entrance Scholarship. This will be provided by Ms. Ewan. Indy Buller. Indy has a passion for both English and biology. After graduation, she plans to attend SFU and enroll in Bachelor of Science program. She will always remember the, her supportive teachers and the close friendships and she made in high school. Valina Chan. Valina has been on the honor roll at various times at, at EC and she has remembered her role as an action team member. Her favorite course in high school was psychology and she hopes to become a mediator in the realm of law. Eric Cooper. Eric plans to attend Guam Polytechnical University and become an electrician. He really enjoyed his chef training class in grade 8 day. His favorite memories of Ever Creek High School are the times he shared with friends playing ball hockey. Charnbeer Dolimal. Charnbeer plans to attend business and attend either Douglas College or SFE. He enjoyed being a part of the athletic activities at Ever Creek and played on the soccer team. Robbie Dillon. While at Ever Creek, Robbie enjoyed various band excursions to Edmonton and California, but his most memorable trip was to Costa Rica. The friendships and bonds that transpired from these trips were a valuable part of his high school experience. Kavita Dillon. While at Ever Creek, Kavita was involved in the action team and can also be found hanging out with friends in the quad. She will be attending Vancouver Film School in the fall to pursue a career in video and film. Colvin Gill. Colvin has been a role model at various times. She is also involved in the action team, grad council, and the fashion show. Her future plan is to attend SFU to become a health career associate. She believes you're only as good as the people you surround yourself with, so be brave enough to let go of the ones who weigh you down. Rabab Honda. Rabab has been an active volunteer with various departments of the City of Surrey. At Enver, she has contributed numerous hours to the Homework Den, Newspaper Club, Students' Council. She enjoys calculus, Spanish, and a passion for reading about the Middle East. Rabab has been awarded the Dogwood District Authority Second Language Scholarship and the University of Toronto Entrance Scholarship. These will be presented by Ms. Marasha. <laughs> Miss Marisha. Ripendeep Jaswal. Ripendeep is a referee and an active part of the Guilford Soccer Club. He has many fond memories of Everett Creek and really enjoyed his math class and English classes. He had the most fun in physical education and plans to attend SFU or UBC to become a, an accountant. Shane Kelly. Shane loves media arts and drama and took part in several productions at Everett Creek, including Macbeth and The Election. He is an avid writer and has been on the honor roll throughout his high school career. Shane has made some great friends at EC and will miss them all. Shelby Naxted. Throughout the years at Everett Creek, Shelby has been a highly motivated student. Her favorite class was dance and she's also a member of the Surrey Dance Center. After graduation, she will pursue her passion for dancing on the Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines. Later, she will attend York University to complete her bachelor's degree in education. Shelby has been awarded the Dogwood District Authority of Fine Arts Scholarship, the Surrey Dance Teachers Association Scholarship. This will be presented by Ms. Twain. Shelby is also a recipient of the scholarship from the Royal Canadian Legion Wally Branch, which is being presented by Darren Crumb.
Jordan Law. Jordan has many fond memories of his years at Everett Creek, but perhaps his favorite memory is being part of the 2011-2012 Senior Boys Soccer Team and winning the provincial championships. He also enjoyed the trip to Europe in 2012. In his spare time, he enjoys Taekwondo and believes that people should be open, should have an open mind throughout their life. He will miss the smiling faces at Edinburgh Creek. Jasdeep Leon. Jasdeep was part of the action team for three years and was also part of the Edinburgh Creek's first ever girls field hockey team. She plans to go to Douglas College in the fall and then to UVic to become an athletic therapist. Her motto is, once a cougar, always a cougar. <laughs> Alicia Mate. <laughs> Alicia can be found in the media arts and photography room working on various creative projects. At the Surrey International Film Festival in 2012, she was formally recognized and was a recipient of a prestigious film award. Her passion has led to a film career-based film -based career and she is looking forward to attending the film and television program at BCIT. Alicia has been awarded the Dogwood District Authority Fine Arts Scholarship and the Artona Photography Scholarship. This will be presented by Miss Hackett. Chase McLaren. At Edward Creek, Chase can be often found riding his longboard and hanging out in the media room with friends. He really enjoyed his class with Chef, as well as Science and PE. He plans to further his education at BCIT and become an auto shop mechanic. At some point, he would hope to return to Holland and extend a trip with his lifelong friends. Allison Montour. Allison has many memories from her years at Ember Creek and her involvement in the haunted house in Pastelay. This honorable student adores animals and volunteers at the Atlantic Animal Hospital. She will be attending the West Coast College in the fall to become a veterinary assistant. Roger Mooker. in grade 8. The atmosphere is warm and welcome. Roger is also known for his cheerful, fun-loving nature and he lives by the model. Nothing comes easy. You have to work hard for what you want. <laughs> Karn Neal. Karn anticipates becoming a mechanical engineer after he finishes his degree at BCIT or UBC. He will be remembered for his great wit, wit and evoking a smile in his friends. He will never forget the close bonds he formed with people at Edward Creek. Ishpal Patera. Ishpal was involved in the Athletic Council at EC and he enjoyed weight training and fitness. His most exciting moment at Edward Creek was watching the Olympic torch go by and in the future he plans to join the armed forces and attend either UBC or SFU to attain a business degree. Tanya Sandu. Tanya will never forget the fun filled moments she shared with her friends at Evergreen Creek. One of her most favorite memories at EC was helping the haunted house. She thoroughly enjoyed family studies and English and being part of grad council. In the future, she plans to earn a master's degree in nursing. Pavneet Sekhon. For the past two years, Pavneet has been part of the Spirit of the Sea Festival in White Rock. She also values the spirit and positive ambience of Ember Creek. She is also an active part of the DEN Grad Council and has consistently been an honor roll student. In the fall, Pavneet plans to pursue a degree in criminology at SFU. Karm Sidhu. Studying for exams. He plans to learn SFU and obtain a criminology degree. 
Congratulations to Park for being awarded the Coca-Cola Scholarship and the Maple Green Elementary Scholarship. These will be presented by Mr. Marie. Abhijit Sohi. Abhijit wants to become a veterinarian and will be going to SFU to reach his goals. Afterward, he will be transferring to the University of the United States. He, earned, he joined biology class and is part of the Lower Mainland Greenland team. Green team, sorry. He was on the first class honor roll and at Everett Creek his motto is never quit, hard work always pays off. Jasmine Verk. An easy Jasmine never resisted the chance to be inspired through her passion for writing and dancing. Her love for theoretical, theatrical ideas and abstract concepts has led her to pursue a career in psychology, but she will always have the soul of a poet. She cherishes fond memories of Edward Creek and a sense of security he feel in the school. Jasmine has been awarded the Dogwood District Authority Fine Arts Scholarship, which is being presented by Miss Twig. Yes. Megan White. Megan's motto, what doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. Megan's personal discipline has helped her achieve a second degree bout belt in Taekwondo and has kept her in the saddle of the horse. Inspired by teachers at Ember Creek, she will take her love for the learning to the local university while she will be studying psychiatric nursing. Thank you, Ms. Willoughby. I would like to call, ask Ms. Phillips to please come forward for the presentation of Tag 13L.